Look at this architecture with the rectangular boxes. It is the new museum. The new museum, as its name implies, is the incubator for new ideas and the home for contemporary art. The first exhibition we are going to is at Atkins, Get Life Loves Work. Atkins is a British contemporary artist who investigates the relationship between people and technology, exploring corporeal qualities in a digital moving image. This is a computer-generated animation recorded using motion and facial capture technologies, documenting an intimate conversation between the artist and his mother during the COVID-19 lockdown. Imagine your everyday Zoom call to be made public. Would having a digital character that replaces our physical presence be a relief? Our bodies and technologies are intertwined like never before. What if technology becomes advanced enough to capture more detail of our emotions and actions than our physical body could? We are now heading to Wang Ping's exhibition, including a selection of his recent video work. He has a very distinct visual style that's full of saturated neon colors and blocky shapes, addressing themes from individual desire to society pressure in a bizarre and humorous way. I wasn't able to record much, but I highly recommend checking out his animations on Vimeo. They're super fun to watch. The last exhibition of the day is by artist and filmmaker Leon Hirschman Leeson. Similar to Atkins, Leeson is interested in the relationship between people and technology. This is one of her most recent projects, the Affinity Engine, a multimedia installation that's based on a genetics laboratory. The installation explores the biological potential for the future, as well as the effects of genetic engineering on society. We can see bioprinted organs, some genetically modified fish and cat, and a wall covered with a gridded display of cloned animal species. Yeah.